Hello guys, Silver Butterflies here. Uh, today I will review this perfume. The brand called Ex Nihilo and uh, the perfumer is Olivier Pichot. Uh, Olivier Pichot reinterprets the Mukalak giving the Parisian and nocturnal twist to this timeless oriental blend. A subtle and contrasted balance between invigorating saffron and timeless woody core carved into agarwood and patchouli. Like a black incarnation, Olivier added a unique touch of rose jelly with a hint of grapefruit that gives midnight special its mesmerizing signature. And the same in French upstairs. So we'll see now. Midnight special. So we see how special is that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, remind me a lot of expensive perfumes. It's remind me something from the line of Kilian. Remind me of something from uh, Clive Christian. But it's again, it's uh, neither, no, it's ex nihilo. I feel something animalistic there. I'm not sure if it's there. Uh, we will check on Fragrantica in a minute. They mentioned it's a uh, rose jelly. That's interesting combination. So my first emotions, my first impressions, uh, something dark woody maybe agar wood uh, with a twist like they say it midnight twist midnight parisian twist of uh, rose jelly if someone ever had this rose jelly tell me i want to try it on my skin and i give it a minute because I always afraid of uh, perfumes uh, with a strong uh, expensive notes on one hand is so divine and it's so uh, you know rich maybe sometimes too rich to my blood maybe not well let's check so far my personal opinion rose jelly and agarwood main accords warm spicy wood fresh spicy rose citrus uh, belong to oriental woody perfumes it's created in 2017 top notes are cinnamon saffron and black pepper middle notes are turkish rose rose and grapefruit Base notes are agarwood, wood, patchouli, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's very woody perfume. It's uh, strong, um, maybe even burnt wood or burnt uh, wood. The green, green note of uh, patchouli may be somewhere far away not so close in the beginning maybe at the end when it's come to the base and it start um, layering on you it will give that effect it's pleasant um, for me uh, as a lady i probably wouldn't wear it uh, in the evening i maybe try it maybe um, read a book with this kind of perfume but for men I think this would be it right now because men now they are looking for some kind of sweet note uh, with a twist of uh, you know some kind of bitter note uh, maybe woody note even if it's wood wood becoming a little bit out of fashion but it's still there um, if you ask me ever would I recommend this perfume for date 
I probably say no because uh, this perfume is quite strong and it can suffocate uh, your partner or if you do it on the first date like first uh, blind date first time um, consider its risk if someone like it uh, hot maybe but if somebody like it soft maybe not overall it's not um, it's, it's not bad but it's not like super super uh, impressive for me because not because of the composition and I like Oliver Pichot um, it's because I uh, I smelled something like that somewhere else maybe it's a high time uh, to find different notes for a new trend new fashion yeah, of course, this one is created 2017 when it was on a peak of demand of uh, Udi perfumes. But now in 2020, it dims down. It's not needed much. This is what I can say about this midnight special. It's all timing. It's timing is the essence. If you would get this perfume in uh, 17, it would be just it. But if you get this perfume a little later in your hands, it all depends. Depends on the circumstances. Uh, my circumstances would say to you, maybe, maybe not. And I already uh, told you aforementioned. Until now, I leave you with my little decision, not for blind date, but for good time. Ex nihilo, midnight special, and silver butterfly. Bye for now.